Hi YouTube, it's Andrew from moneymental.co.uk here, the website dedicated to money and mental health problems. Today I'm coming at you with a YouTube challenge. Um, for those of you who saw my live stream um, the other day, you'll be aware that I'm doing a challenge where I take £100, I invest it into stock, which I sure source exclusively from charity shops, and I'm looking to invest that money, uh, buy stock, sell the stock on eBay, and eventually turn that hundred pounds into about three thousand pounds, and I'm looking to do that by summer of next year, so I can have a holiday to America. Uh, a couple of rules of the competition: um, I can only buy stock from charity shops. I can only use my initial hundred pound budget. Then, when I've sold something, that fifty percent of the profits and the um, original fee that I've paid for it as well will be invested uh, back into more stock. The other fifty percent of profit will be put into my savings account until I hit that magic three thousand pound figure. So the hope is that I continually buy stock, sell it on for a profit, and then use that profit to buy more stock. And yeah, eventually I'm going to reach three thousand pounds and have a nice holiday. So yeah, that's the challenge in a nutshell. Uh, it was called the hundred pound challenge, but I've had some feedback suggesting that a three thousand pound challenge might be better. So I may well call it that from now on. But anyway, today I have been to the charity shops with my £100 budget. I've spent uh, roughly about £80, I think about £80.40 of that budget. Um, so it's nearly all gone. Uh, so for this video now, I'm going to show you what I picked up. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I paid for it. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to list it for on eBay. Um, I'm going to list everything um, as high as I can uh, with the intention of gradually reducing it in price. Uh, until it sells so we'll see how that goes uh, also other rules are that i've got to list everything i buy in 24 hours as well so i've been busy listing some of the stock already i've got about just under half of it listed so far but yeah let's go into the purchases and we'll take it in the order of what's on my spreadsheet because i'll be tracking all these purchases uh expenditures profits etc on a spreadsheet so that i can regularly keep you up to date with it and the first item, which is quite heavy, is this Memorex BBO200 external CD writer. It's in mint condition, doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's boxed, it's got everything with it. Um, it's a bit, good bit of retro sort of computing there, because it's uh, old tech from, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or more. But yeah, as I say, it's boxed, it's not been used. There's only one of the one for sale on eBay at the minute, and that's for over £50 in, uh, plus shipping. Um, I picked this up for £10. I've sold something similar to it in the past for about £30. So I thought I'll take a punt on this one. Uh, it cost me £10 from their ambulance charity shop. I've got it listed currently for £34.99. I can keep bringing that down um, until it sells. But yeah, I've listed it high to start off with. I've put some keywords in about it being retro, uh, for retro computing and such like. So we'll see how that gets on. But yeah, that, that was a slight bit of a punt because, as I say, there's only one other one listed and no solds on it, but I'm hoping there'll be some, some nice profit in that. Uh, now I'll just go to list and have a look at the next item. Oh yeah, it's these um, Adidas golf shoes, as you can see. Um, now, I picked these up because they're actually brand new with tags and um, they cost me £5.50 from a, a charity shop um, I didn't notice when I picked them up but I have noticed now there's a couple of marks to the leather um, which will affect the, the value of them but still £5.50 never been used never worn on the um, golf course um, I had a look at and this particular model could go for about £75 new with the marks to the lever and the fact that it's unboxed. I'm going to start it off at £44.99 and then we can work our way down from there. But yeah, £5.50 for those. As I say, hopefully I'll get close to that £45 figure. So yeah, really pleased with that pickup. Um, next, a bit of clothing. It's this Thomas Brooks sort of trench coat style coat um, X size XXL so I picked it up I don't know if I think that, that's coming through there but yeah that 
coat's in really good condition. You know, looks like it's only been worn once or twice. Um, got a slight mark to the back, but I think that'll, that'll just should clean off. I think that's just been from being. Yeah, that's coming off. Yep. So that that was three pounds um, in the charity shop. Now it's just like a bit of a pump because the only other Thomas Brooks coats coats on there uh, on eBay at the minute are sort of cashmere ones and they're up for about 150 pounds and then there was one I think that sold for about 20 pounds it was again a cashmere one but seemed to be placed, placed really low actually um, but yeah with that being a size XXL condition it's in I'm going to price that one um, at 29.99 including shipping and uh, I hope to achieve something close to that I think that's a good price for the condition it's in so yeah, that was a good pickup. Um, next, we've got these same charity shop picked up some Marks and Spencers, brand new with tags, um, all the labels, etc. On trousers, normally retail for twenty. I don't know if you see that twenty five pounds. Um, they cost me three pounds. I'm going to try them. At uh, seventeen ninety nine, including shipping, and I hope to get around the fifteen pound mark for them because that's about the going rate on those. So, good, nice little bit of profit there, hopefully. And then next, something I picked up based on watching other videos um, was this BT Big Button. Um, try and get that in. Telephone. Uh, I got that in a tip shop. Um, it's. It's in really good condition. It is missing the cable that goes to the phone line, um, but I think I can probably get hold of one of those without any expenditure. Um, and yeah, that everything I picked up from this tip shop basically, he sort of, apart from one thing which I picked up afterwards, he sort of bundled it all up for me and charged me ten pounds for the entire bundle. Um, so that one worked out as being about eighty four pence. Um, you know when the cost of the bundle was worked out. Uh, the, the only problem is I see loads listed on eBay for sort of between ten and fifteen pounds, but I could only see one that had been sold for just over five pounds plus shipping. So it may be a slight bit of a fail, but for eighty four pence, I'm going to list it on eBay for fourteen ninety nine anyway and see what happens. And you know, it might sell or gradually reduce it anyway until it hits about the nine ninety nine including shipping mark and see what happens with it okay and another thing that was part of that bundle uh, let's just see if we can get it is this retro 1999 barbie uh, convertible um, this costs four pounds so i well, had a four pound label on it so i just put it as four pounds on the, the figures even though it came as a part of a ten pound bundle it is I don't know if there's a fuel cap supposed to be there or not, whether that's missing. And it is uh, missing one of the wing mirrors. Um, but apart from that, it's in reasonable condition. Um, some of the stickers are starting to peel off because it is from 1999. But it's a genuine Mattel Barbie product. Um, there are no other ones of these for sale on eBay currently. And the last listing I could find, I did some research back in 2017. And that was up for £25 and that was in worse condition than this one. So I'm going to list that for £29.99 including postage and see where we go. But there is definitely a market for that retro sort of Barbie stuff. So um, not vintage Barbie stuff. So hopefully that will sell for close to that price. Um, just going to see if I could find the other stuff that was part of the bundle. Might have to pop you down for a second when I have a look. You wouldn't believe how much stuff there is here that I've picked up in my £80 budget. Okay, yeah, I found, um, found a couple of things from the bundle, so we, we'll get cracking on that. Um, next, this was marked up as a pound. It is, I don't know if we can see it properly, it's a Pirates of the Caribbean figure. Uh, Final Battle Will Turner. Uh, it's still in its original packaging, not been removed, but the packaging has had some sort of crush damage, uh, which has not affected the figure or anything like that, as far as I can tell, or its contents, but 
does unfortunately affect the value um prices are all over the places or, or, or have been all over the place on those sort of figures they they're sort of going quite quite high um i have just looking at it now decided that i because of the crust damage to it i'm going to list it at 11.99 including shipping it'll be the only one that's on ebay at the minute that's not part of a bundle with captain jack so i'm hoping i will achieve close to that 11.99 mark and you know for a pound i think that's a reasonable return and then to form up the rest of that sort of 10 pound bundle picked up harry potter and the goblet of fire on ps2 uh, sold this game picked it up purely to sold this game not long ago for eight pounds uh, including shipping so i'm hoping to achieve i think i'll get slightly less for it now because the one i sold no sorry sold nine pounds including shipping i sold the other one for that was in absolutely mint condition it looked like it had never been played this one has been it's, it's still in really good condition but you can you can tell it it has been played and enjoyed before so i'll go so i'll go a whole pound lower i'll list it for 7.99 and we'll see including postage we'll see what happens uh, i might have to lower it a pound or two i know there's some that go for sort of three pounds or whatever but these harry potter games if you aim high i do find you do achieve those high prices i've sold a few now and i've always had uh, higher prices or at the top end of the market when i've sold them so happy to pick that up that part of the bundle wasn't marked in price so that was 83 pence uh, and then yeah also part of that sort of part of the bundle from the tip shop again got age of empires 2 uh jewel case the conquerors expansion and age of empires 2 the age of kings jewel case game as well he basically just put out a load of cd jewel case games um as i was in the shop so i just picked up some of the best ones there so yeah those two 83 pence each so what's that one pound 66 for both i've got them listed um 11 pound 49 somebody's achieved for these but i looked at the pictures on it on the listing and one of the games with it was a in in the case i don't know the cases one of the games inside the case was the wrong one um so i thought i'll go for 12.99 uh, as i've got the actual games that are supposed to be in the case so yeah I'll pick up there um and then the final item i think that formed part of that bundle was a copy of grand theft auto on a pc cd jewel case only but the disc is the limited edition one um so there aren't actually any of these other uh, on the uh, ebay um the limited edition game actually had the soundtrack and this CD-ROM um, in it, and they were both sort of um, both sort of pig. Uh, unfortunately, the CD-ROM isn't that. The soundtrack isn't with it. Or I should get some more money, but yeah, as I understand it, this is a pink CD-ROM. Um, I'm just checking; it's not the actual soundtrack. But yeah, no, that that is the game. Um, I've got an old computer I can test it out on anyway, just to confirm that. Uh, but yeah, that, as it's a limited edition, and there's no other ones of that particular type on eBay, will be listed for £9.99, including postage. I should have worked out about 83 pence. Um, I think I'll probably get closer to six or seven pounds, including postage on that. But, as I say, I'm listing high to start with and seeing where we end up. So, yeah, every, that's everything for that particular bundle. Um, no, it's not. I'll tell a lie because I also got, let's see if I can find it, a 2001 Playmates. Uh, I don't know where I've put her now. But it was a 2001 Oh dear, have I just broken something? No, that's how it's supposed to be. Um, sorry, probably just had a view up my nostrils then. Um, here it is, found it. Little Lara Croft figure. Um, 
from 2001 in excellent condition um, yeah that cost me again 83 pence um, seen these sell for about seven eight pounds um, not in quite as good condition so I've put this as 9.99 including shipping and I hope to achieve around eight to nine pounds on that one uh, everything's on best offer anyway so we'll see what we end up with yeah, yeah that was the final piece of the 10 pound bu bundle and then next i went to another it's it's not a, well it's kind of a tip shop because i do get stuff from tips but um it's just a random sort of recycling sort of charity shop place uh in uh my local town um they had they had lots of stuff in there but I was just sort of quite, I wanted to focus on stuff that I knew from personal experience would sell. And, would, and I knew what the kind of profit it would make me is. Because they don't really actually put about prices on things in there. So um, you have to kind of go in and make an offer and see what happens. So I uh, picked up a Boppet Extreme 2, which is working. I don't know really what I'm supposed to do with it, but yeah, it's working anyway. It's Pop at Extreme 2. Um, grabbed that and I picked up a Atmosphere Khufu the Mummy board game. Now, the contents of that game, I won't get them out now, but they're all sealed, so it's actually never been uh, used or played. Um, so that was really pleasing to, to find that out because I was checking through various games and that was the one that stood out. Uh, paid £7 for two of those, so £3.50 each. The Boppet can go between £15 and £20 looking at solds. So I've obviously listed for £19.99 including shipping. I hope to get about 15 for it. And the Mummy game, all over the place um, in, in values. Anything from £13 to £20 plus. So again... That's going to be listed for $19.99, including shipping. And we'll see where we end up with that. But yeah, I'm really pleased with those two pickups. And then next, I picked up a Spode plate, which is still in a Spode bag. It's the, just, it's a nice Celtic design. Beautiful, actually, sort of gold trim and everything. Um, it's the Duro plate. Um, inspired by the Book of Durrow, apparently. One of the earliest and finest of the Celtic illuminated manuscripts. Um, yeah, that cost me £2.49. £2 um, I've seen one go for about between £13 and £15. Um, but it's quite a rare design. So I've listed it quite high uh, at £19.99, including shipping. And we'll see how it goes. You know, at the very least, I should get about thirteen pounds on it. So, you know, there's there's some profit in that. And then, also in that same charity shop, I picked up a Saint Michael, so vintage Marks and Spencers. Um, don't know if you can see the label there. Try and get it in shot fairly miserably but yeah that's uh, a lamb's wool uh, pure yeah pure new wool uh, jumper it's in really good condition um, obviously St Michael's quite a vintage market now for, for that kind of stuff uh, it cost me uh, a whole 99 pence um, I've put a pound here so I probably should correct that to say 99 pence probably makes sense as to why now my calculations are a penny out so yeah uh, sorry that was 99 pence um, I'm gonna list it high again because of its excellent condition uh, I am going to put that up for 1999 including shipping but I'll probably get about 15 pounds for it so please with that pick up and then I also picked up something that again where prices are a bit all over the place uh, but it was this Surface Type Cover 2 keyboard with backlighting for the uh, Microsoft Surface, which I actually own one of, um, believe it or not. So I can actually test that this is working and 
make sure it's um, doing what it should do. There's a bit of um, finger mark use on the keyboard and the, and the mouse. Um, if anyone knows any good tips for, for cleaning it up a bit, great. Otherwise, I'll just go on Google and see what I need to do. But yeah, that was two ninety nine. Prices are, are, are anything from fifteen to fifty pounds on those. Um, so it seems to be a bit, a bit sort of mad on eBay. And there's some listed for seventy five pounds at the minute. I'm going to go in about twenty nine ninety nine, including shipping, because you know I don't want to be too greedy. But at the same time, I'd like to make a nice profit on it. So I'd be happy with twenty nine ninety nine for that. Um, and I think that's fair compared to what else is sort of out there at the minute. But Anything over 20 I'll be happy with. Be a nice little return for me. Uh, yeah, and then in the tip shop, I mentioned as I was paying that I bought the bundle of stuff that cost me £10. But then I'd spotted something. I'd spied something out of the corner of my eye as I was going to pay, uh, which was quite a pleasing pickup. It is this Sony Walkman uh, Discman. Walkman, Discman, whatever you want to call them these days. It says Walkman on it, but... To me, they're always disc vans. Um, any resellers will know that those sort of Sony CD players are, are quite coveted and good to look out for. This one is boxed, and it has the original headphones with it as well, which are unused. So that's two things that add to its um, its value. I paid up for it, cost me eight pounds. But in the back of my head, George Ross, who's recently started doing YouTube videos, uh. And he's constantly saying on his um, videos, don't be afraid to pay up, because that's how you sometimes get your bigger profit. So yeah, paid up, paid £8 for that. Um, they have sold exactly the same as that, um, same condition and everything, sold for £34.99 on eBay before. Um, so I'm happy I'm going to get at least that, but I've listed it high, I've listed it for £44.99, because there's not a lot of competition out there at the minute for this particular model. So we'll see how I do with that, but yeah. Hopefully that should be a nice, good little return there. And then we've recently had, and I only discovered this today when I was accidentally came across it on a, a Google search for the opening hours of a different charity shop. Uh, we've had a Sioux Rider open in uh, our town in the former branch of Maplin. Um, it's quite a big charity shop, and um, it's one that it, it needed me to spend a bit of time in it and investigate further so i didn't spend too much time in it today because i'm obviously focusing on the challenge and sourcing stock for that so i was just sort of going around the charity shops and hitting the stuff that i i knew from my own experience and could value and i wasn't sat there spending a lot of time researching stuff then so most of what i've got is stuff that i've sold before or i know other people have sold before and um so yeah but i did pick up one thing from there which is this browning contact uh, badminton racket it's in really good condition um, because I know rackets can go quite well but I always whenever I see them out in the wild they always seem to be quite well used and they had a couple of other ones that were decent brands but again were quite well used and I, I wanted something that looked a bit more pristine um, which that met the criteria of so it cost three pounds um, there's only one listed on eBay at the minute, which is alongside another badminton racket as well, and they're together selling for £38. So I, f I think when I list this, I'll put it up for £19.99, including shipping, and see where we end up. But yeah, hopefully that again will be another good pickup. And then um, for those who doubt British Heart Foundation, because I, I actually do quite often source stock from British Heart Foundation, I picked up... Um, for the princely sum of five pounds, it's out of the box. So I'll just make sure the box is sealed, because um, you can see what it is from the box. I picked up this shawl um, manicure and pedicure centre. Um, cost me five pounds. It's been already pat tested by uh, British Heart Foundation. I've tested it; and it seems to work. It's got various bits and pieces with it. All of which are in there, um, so it looks just exactly like it does on there. I mean, to be honest, it looks like it's maybe been used once or twice at most. And so, yeah, that cost me five pounds in British Heart Foundation. Uh, and there's one that's pretty much the same as that that's sold for twenty pounds. 
uh, including shipping. Um, but there's only one of the that's listed at the minute on eBay, and that's for twenty four ninety nine, including shipping. So I just decided to list mine at the same price, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, good good pickup from the British Art Foundation there. And then um, next, I think we're nearly at the end. Yep, we are nearly at the end. Um, I picked up a. Where is it? Where is it? Where, ah, there it is. A big button remote control, a Tevion one. Um, I'd actually thought it was new um, when I picked it up. It was only when I looked later and realised the batteries were missing from the box that it's not new. Um, it is, has been used before, and there is some some trace sort of dirt which I'm not sure that's on the box or on the remote itself so it might need a slight little clean up but it's got all the instructions and everything with it the original casing um, I've sold these jumbo remote controls before um, in a second hand condition without any boxing or packaging or manual for about seven or eight pounds so this cost me one pound ninety five um, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna aim for uh, 9.99 including shipping if it had been brand new i probably would have gone for 12.99 um but because it has been used before i'm just going to lower my aspiration slightly on that but i stood still hit close to that sort of figure and that was from cancer research and while i was in cancer research i had a look in their display cabinets um one tip is don't ignore the display cabinets are in there yeah they put the most expensive and valuable items in there but some of those are still things you can make a good profit on and uh, hopefully I'll be doing that today because in there was this big show gauge. I've got to be careful because it'll slip. Um, vintage train set, um, which I know the box is quite worn. Looks like the the uh, contents itself has never been used. It's in mint condition. That was eight pounds, and then also in there was another one which is a slightly different model again that was eight pounds now i've seen them go for about 20 25 pounds each um, but in heavily used condition those as i say are both sort of pristine apart from the wear to the box which i think these date from the 70s so you'd, you'd expect that so yeah i'm going to list them for 39.99 including shipping each and see where we end up there's plenty of margin to drop um in price on those but yeah sort of really pleased to pick those up and see those uh you know from, from the display cabinet they took them all out of the box for me had a good look at them and yeah i was happy to to take a punt at that price and then final item uh you'll be glad to hear um i'm sure because it has been a while is this brand new disney store official um brand new with tags Disney uh, it's Disney store which I think you can see there uh, Mickey Mouse cap that cost me £1.50 and um, it's not got any competition for that particular one on the eBay at the minute the last one to sell that type I think the only one I could find sold for about roughly £10 including shipping but that was over in America and um, so I've listed this one as £14.99 including shipping so you pardon me, including shipping. And um, we'll see where we end up on it. But yeah, £1.50. I'm probably gonna get at least 9 99 for that one, so I'm happy with that. And that takes my total spend to £80.40, um, I believe. According to my hastily prepared calculations anyway. So yeah, um I'm happy with that sort of £80 spend. I think there's a good level of profit there. Um, you know, I I'm hoping that it will lead to me being able to put the hundred pounds that I got well, the eighty pounds I spent. I'm hoping I'll actually, and the profits I make, if I if I uh, list all these, I'm going to be able to put at least eighty pounds into the savings account, and still have over a hundred pounds then to reinvest in more stocks. So yeah, some really good pickups are there from my perspective. But if you've got any comments on that. If there's anything you've seen that you've sold before and you think that my prices are wrong, I could get more or maybe less, but I'm hoping more. 
um, then uh, please feel free to comment and let me know below. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, please do uh, like this video and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already um, for more updates on the uh, £3,000 challenge as we're calling it now. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.